I'm Andrew Harvey and I'm speaking from Sharj. And I want to speak a little about the sacred importance of the Chartres Mystery School. I was lucky enough to be invited by Jim Garrison and Wisdom University to lead and be part of a pilgrimage to the Marianne sites and the sites of Mary Magdalene in 2005. And at the end of that pilgrimage, drunk on what we'd experienced, we came to Chartres. And it was in Chartres that Jim and I came up with the wild and gorgeous idea to recreate the Chartres Mystery School in 2006, which was the thousand year anniversary of its initial creation. What so inflamed and excited us about the original Chartres Mystery School that was founded by Fulbert of Chartres was that it was a mystery school dedicated to the birth of the divine in the human, dedicated to the mystical core of Jesus' transmission to the world, a transmission that was about empowering everyone to reclaim their divine identity and divinize heart, mind, soul and body so as to become emissaries of divine creativity on earth. The reason why we found this vision so moving and so exalted was that both Jim and I have a very profound sense of what our current extreme world crisis is about. For both of us, this world crisis has three essential interlinked aspects. First, it is an evolutionary crisis, and humanity is being challenged now to evolve to a wholly new level of embodied divine consciousness so as to be able to transform potential apocalypse into the seedbed of a new world. And the crisis itself has two linked aspects. A great death that is taking place on every level in the world at the moment, in an environmental holocaust, in the spread of fundamentalism, in corporate fascism, in complete paralysis on every level. But this great death is also, and this is very important I think, the crucible for a great birth that is also now taking place on the earth. The birth of a new kind of human being a divinized human being, able to be strong enough and passionate enough and peaceful enough and committed enough to what I call sacred activism, to be a co-creative partner with God in God's plan for the birth of a new humanity. What we have discovered over these last six initiations is that through reviving the ancient curriculum of the Chartres Mystery School, extraordinary powers of illumination, intuition, awareness, and transformation have been miraculously possible. Hundreds of people have come to the school and hundreds of lives have been permanently altered. Last night, we all went on to the labyrinth and had the extraordinary privilege of being in Chartres Cathedral just by ourselves with a group of amazing musicians. And last night for all of us was a kind of miracle because for all of us the cathedral became alive and revealed itself as what we have conceptually known it to be, a resurrection machine, a divine alive machine that can engender a grounded realization of not only our divine being, but our divine purpose. This kind of revelation has not been wanting in the progress of the school. We've had the greatest teachers on the planet come and be with us for a week. But most of all, we've had the most extraordinary students, people from all walks of life, from CEOs to hippie adventurers, to scientists, to politicians, and all of them 
have found that in the mystery school of Shard, they have been able to find the truth of their inmost being and also the truth of the mission now assigned to them at this critical moment of the world's history. Every year, the dance between the teachers, the love between the teachers, the rapport between the teachers and the students, the sense that we are all participating in a miracle of birth becomes more and more potent. Nothing is more important at this time of the world's history than to gather all the wisdom we can from all the great transcendental mystical traditions and from the indigenous tradition that flourished here before Christianity and bring them together so that we can feel empowered with all the wisdom of the sky and all the wisdom of the earth, all the wisdom of all the great mystical traditions that have celebrated our divine identity and all the wisdom of the indigenous traditions that know the secrets of nature and of living in a rapturous and ecstatic harmony with nature. And what all of us, I think, are discovering through teaching and undergoing the initiations of the Mystery School is that despite the appalling destruction that is happening at this moment, despite the great death that is exploding everywhere, there is a real birth of a new kind of embodied divine humanity taking place. And this birth isn't poetry, it isn't a supposition, it isn't a plea or a prayer. This birth has actually been experienced in this mystical school by all of us, so far as we can embrace it. And it is the joy of this birth, the rapture of this birth, the peace of this birth, the passionate purpose that is born from this birth that we would so love to share with all of you. Because we are entering into the greatest storm of our evolution. And to enter into it without the knowledge and the joy and the peace and the passion and the purpose that knowing this birth is real would be a terrible mistake. Everything now depends on the depth of our inmost realization and on the passionate compassion with which we enact it in every level and on every realm in the world in what I call sacred activism. So please come to the Mystery School and allow your divine human to be midwifed into its true passion and splendor.